it's been more than three months now since I started making my game from this sad glowing ball of light to this, a full combat gameplay loop and smart enemies that work together as a team to bring you down. And today I will be giving a summary on all the developments I've made so far. I'll also be showing some analytics from the YouTube channel to let you guys know the status of the community's growth. Also as an added bonus, I'll be showing some sneak peek on what I'm developing in the next three months and some solutions that I will be implementing to a lot of challenges that I've faced these past three months developing the game. Hopefully. My experience developing my game will help some of you guys out there as well. For those of you who didn't know, I'm June and I'm making a game where you play as a wisp, a glowing ball of light you can transform into different monster types to fend off human invaders exploiting your island. So let's begin. So I started making my game about a wisp who can transform into different monsters way back in January 2023 and decided to make a YouTube channel to document everything and hopefully create a community that is interested in the game. I tried to make small development clips and upload it to YouTube but that did not go well. So in February, I decided to delete all the small clips, change the video formats and made my very first devlog that talked about my first month's game development journey. In the first devlog, I talk about how I really wanted to make an RPG game whose main character is not a hero but here you play as a monster instead. The goal was to make a reverse RPG where we will be seeing the perspective of the monster instead of the heroes. In my first month, it was really all about learning the Unity game engine and learning how to utilize assets from the asset store. I also focused my first month on the look and feel of the game. I know a lot of devs say to focus on gameplay first, but I really like to test the limits of the graphics first before deciding on the mechanics. It's more like an experiment to see where the tech would lead me to. I tested out some assets to lay the foundation of the island we'll be playing on. I also made some resource gathering gameplay loops where the wisp can gather life essence from the trees and some skills for the wisp where it can see the surroundings from a higher vantage point and a dash skill for mobility. I also added a new character model the skeleton which is one of the monsters you can transform into. I tweaked a lot of settings just to get the right mood for the lighting, added night and day and a weather system, and finally I made the wisp transform into the skeleton. My challenge for the first month was mainly figuring out how to use unity. Also, other challenges I encountered are finding people to ask for feedback. I don't really have a lot of gamer friends or friends in general that will be interested in my passion project. I got past this obstacle by just focusing on the things that I can control, which is mainly developing the game and asking for feedback from the few people who have interest in it. You don't really need a lot of people to critique your work, you just need a few. And a few can give you a lot of feedback to improve on. Luckily, the problem of getting feedback and suggestions was no longer an issue in the following weeks as soon as the channel started growing. A lot of you guys have been posting your feedback and suggestions in the comment sections. That really helped me a lot in making a game that is community driven. Keep those ideas, feedback and suggestions coming so we can build this ideal game together. In the second month, most of my time was spent on combat for the skeleton and figuring out how the animations work. I made some features that allowed the skeleton to pick and equip things from the ground. I also made a Dark Souls style health bar. I also played around with detection systems where the skeleton can detect enemies and change its attack mode if near them. I also made some attack skills for the skeleton. Just to give you a quick rundown, I made these skills. I made a simple attack skill, a dodging skill, a shield bash, a dodge counter, a charge attack, a sprint attack a quick dash attack, and a stagger and execute finisher. Then, the other half of the month, I started making the enemy AI behavior. In the design phase for the enemy AI, I decided to make my enemies smart. Since you are the monster in the game and your enemies are humans, I thought that it would be cool to have a smart enemy group that works together as a team to bring you the monster down. I also made different game modes depending on the situation of the battle. I made a battle mode where they engage tactically in battle with you and a flee mode where they run for their lives when they think they are losing the battle. My challenge for the second month was not mainly about development but from YouTube. After I posted my second devlog about combat systems, I realized that the best way to have people notice my game 
is to grow the channel. And the only thing that I can do to get my channel noticed by the YouTube algorithm is to increase my video output. Most of my precious development time was now spent on making and editing videos. The development speed drastically dropped because of this. So because of this obstacle, I made several solutions that will speed up my development at the same time maintaining the frequency of videos published on the channel, which I will be revealing by the end of this video. The third month, some subscribers are asking if I have a Steam page. It seems that they want to wishlist the game already even though it's still at the early age of development. This led me to make my Steam page in advance for the gamers out there who are interested and want to wishlist the game on Steam. I'll be showing a one month result for the wishlist later by the end of this video, along with other analytics from the channel. I also made a lot of character model varieties for the mercenary group. I also made the behaviors for the acolytes, added magic and debuff, and finally made AI behavior for them in battle where they charge at you and take advantage of the acolytes debuff. I also made some interesting idle behaviors for them when they're not in battle. Also, by this time, some of my friends played an early version of my combat, and they gave me a lot of insights about it. Basically, they found a lot of bugs, they tested how the game feels, and so on. I'll be making a video about their feedback and how I fix them in the near future, so subscribe to get updated. In the third month, there really are no issues or challenges with the development, except for lack of budget to buy the necessary assets for the next phase of development. For those of you who did not know, the only funding I have for the development of Wisplite is from my limited salary as a web developer. I have a small family, and I use the remainder of my salary to buy the assets needed. Then, I work in the game with no allowance or salary or whatsoever to back me up. So it's really tough to decide which assets to prioritize, given my limited resources and knowing how expensive assets are, not to mention hiring professionals. Another option though is to make the assets myself, but it will take a lot of time and I still have to make and edit videos for the channel, which is necessary for the marketing side of the game. So with all the experience gathered in my three months of development, I am faced with two big challenges. First is my time to develop more features on the game at the same time posting devlogs on a weekly basis to help promote the game and grow the community. Second is to secure funding for the next phase of development to buy the necessary assets or to commission freelancers to make assets for the game. For my challenge with content creation and development time, I came up with a solution that can fix both at the same time. I'll be creating low effort content with high level quality that does not need heavy editing from me. For example, I can make time-lapse videos of me making our level designs with voiceovers and commentary. Time-lapse videos really don't need a lot of editing, so it will just consume half of my day making it, unlike other videos that take me almost 3 days. From making the script, developing the features to shoot the videos from, to shooting the videos itself, to voiceover, editing the voiceovers, and finally editing the entire video. With time-lapse videos, I'll just be doing voiceovers narrating my thoughts on what I'm doing with the landscape. Another type of content that I'll be making is content about the lore. I want to build up on the story of the humans before they invaded the island, and I want Cassandra, our main human companion, to narrate her experience on the mainland. Basically, it will be a journal entry narration from Cassandra sharing her experience on the mainland before she ended up on the island. This will be narrated by my wife, who will also be voicing Cassandra in the game. With these two types of content, I will have a lot of time developing the harder features for the game. What do you think? Do you have any ideas or content that you like me to do? Comment down below. As for the second challenge, which is the funding of the game, I thought of opening an asset store for people who need assets for their game. I know most of my viewers in this channel are developers and maybe I can provide you guys with good assets for your game at a very low cost. This will help me fund my game and at the same time help you guys get good and affordable quality assets, saving you a lot of time. I have some volunteers already to help me with the assets creation, and in fact, some of them have started modeling them as of the moment, so stay tuned for I'll also be making content on these assets they're working on. Another solution for the funding of Wistlight is obviously the channel itself. If the channel grows and gets monetized, it will really help a lot in funding the game's assets. So for those of you who subscribed or liked and watched the videos till the end, Thank you for your support, it means a lot to me. As of the moment, our Wistlight community is growing steadily. Here are some analytics from our YouTube channel. From mid-January to Feb, 
This part is where I posted the small video snippets about the development which I deleted, since as you can see, it's not really performing well on YouTube. Then, for the first month, I only posted one video, and I shared this video to a lot of social media sites, which resulted in a lot of views, but most of the viewers clicked off on the intro, resulting in low audience retention. So this hinted me that sharing your videos on social media is not a good thing, since there's a chance that the audience you are showing it to is not the right audience, and this will greatly affect your audience retention, which is, by the way, a key metric for the algorithm to promote your video. This is clearly seen on the following days here on the chart. So I stopped promoting my content on social media and just focused on YouTube. Then I ramped up the content creation to weekly and trusted that YouTube will naturally show my videos to the right people. And it clearly did. So far, the views and subscribers steadily are growing. So of the moment, there are now 400 subscribers supporting the development. Thank you so much. As for our Steam page, for one month, we already have 102 wishlist, and it's steadily increasing every day. I really did not expect that people would support us on Steam this early in development. Again, thanks for the support. For those of you who haven't wishlisted yet and wants to support us, we're already live on Steam and you can already add the game to your wishlist. Once again, thank you so much. Let me know what you think of this kind of video. If you have feedback, suggestions, or anything to talk about really, just comment down below. I'll reply to all of your comments, and I mean all of them. So to jumpstart the next development phase, we will talk about the full scope of the game, the main gameplay mechanics and features, which we'll be talking about in the next video. Till next time.